to uh, send out the announcement for the meeting this week. So if there's a few less people than normal, that that's on me there. Um, but thank you everyone for joining and everyone who made it. Really appreciate it. Um, I'm actually, uh, we are recording this meeting uh, just so we can, uh, um, everyone can, can, who's not here can uh, keep up. Um, and we will uh, go right into it. Um, I don't think we need to do introductions. Um, next steps on SCAL. Uh, I, I haven't seen anybody uh, post on their recommendations for uh, new projects um, for uh, or new features for SCAL. Um, if you have not done so, please, please, please do um, recommend those features on the SCAL Basecamp or on the um, Open WRT or I'm sorry, Purple WRT list. Um, the one other thing about SCAL is I actually got an email from um, uh, Federico, who is involved in Open Wisp, and he's also involved in Lead, and he is uh, has a Open Wisp uh, is a Google Summer of Code participant this year, a mentoring organization. And Federico was suggesting that uh, one of their projects could be uh, running, um, creating a net JSON config um, interface um, for uh, OpenWRT and Lead. Uh, for those who aren't aware, net JSON config is, it's kind of somewhat similar, I think, to the way TR069 works. Um, it's very, um, lightweight and uh, it, it's very focused um, on certain use cases that I don't think TR069 is, but it describes basically the how a um, how a router is set up exactly. Um, he came to me and asked if if I wanted to mentor it and I said I would I would pass along to anybody else who was interested if they were if they wanted to, but we're looking to have a mentor to help this, help a student who is a Google Summer of Code uh, student who's paid by Google to uh, potentially design a um, SCAL plugin uh, to uh, convert to NetJSON config. Um, being a mentor is pretty pretty simple. I've actually done it before. It's only like five to 10 hours a week at most, usually quite less, and you'd be a co-mentor with Federico. Um, so I wanted to offer people in this group first, is there anybody who would be interested in being a co-mentor for that? All right. Uh, hearing none, then I will I will offer my time uh, to do so. But I think this would be a great way to uh, show off what Scal can do and uh, get some get some uh, work done on um, a cool plugin that will be uh, paid for by somebody other than ourselves or or any of our members. So should be nice. Um, any questions or comments about Scal? All right, um, carrier interest group update. We had a uh, meeting uh, earlier this week. We discussed uh, the Wi-Fi API and kind of next steps and how we work with RDK as it relates to that. Um, I think we're the decision was that we are going to have a meeting next week or the week after um, with uh, an, with uh, the OpenWRT and um, some lead. Uh, developers who are interested in Wi-Fi to kind of get their feedback on how they feel about uh, working with the RDK API and and how it could interact with OpenWRT and lead. Um, I haven't actually sent out those those emails yet, so I have to get that feedback. Um, and then we will we will kind of uh, go from there once we once we have that. But um, I think that's that's the detail there. Um, the other thing is that we agreed to that we want to have an in-person meeting at the end of April, uh, likely in the U.S. Um, we're trying to get some some feedback. So if you have if you're interested in the carrier interest group and you're interested in attending, um, it will be likely in Silicon Valley area. It will be in the end of April. I'm going to ask for people's availability. So um, if you are, uh, we need to know when you are available towards the end of April. Uh, notably, this is somewhat a replacement for the fact of the Berkeley IoT uh, 
conference that uh, Purple was going to sponsor in the beginning in the middle of May. One of the co-sponsors, the IOTSF, they they felt that they couldn't get approvals necessary to do so in May. So we're probably going to move that to September. Um, the event's still going to happen, but it will probably be in September instead, which is probably for the best because it gives everyone a lot more time to to get prepared and uh, things along those lines. Any comments, questions on carrier interest group work? Yeah, uh, Eric, this is yep. Pedro. A quick question. Um, is it confirmed, the location? Because my understanding after the meeting uh, we had was that uh, you were still going to question to several members uh, about the location. Uh, I can do that. I, w I guess I was, I, maybe I misunderstood it then, that, that maybe on my end. Um, I was under the impression that we were kind of uh, heavily going to go towards Silicon Valley, but um, I can I can verify with folks. So, yes. Yeah, this was something that I was uh, not entirely sure, and I was not able to understand because, um, first of all, so I would say that um, for the many people that are part of the the care interest group, um, I think that uh, some of them are indeed in the U.S. when it mm -hmm. comes to the ships as suppliers, as it was discussed. Mm -hmm. uh, but uh, I would say that the remaining members are not. And yep. I did not understand if the focus is indeed only to discuss with the ships as suppliers or the remaining people that are part of the care interest group. It's to discuss with, with everybody involved. Um, okay. That's, that's certainly the difficult balance of um, whether we can we may have trouble getting some of the chipset makers to come if it's in Europe. But whether that's fair or not, that seems to be the reality we've had. Um, that's, so. that's true. I mean, that's true. So the chipset, you got to get them to come to the table. Yeah. But then you have to have the carriers there to beat them up. I mean, essentially. Yes. <laughs> so you've got to say, you know, this is really important to us, and uh, you know. Yes. It's a it's a it's a difficult dance to get to get you know which to get that balance. So yeah, we can we can discuss that definitely. Um, that could have been a misunderstanding on my part that we had. I thought we had decided that we were going to do Silicon Valley, but I mean you know, I could be remembering wrong or heard it wrong. So we will discuss that further certainly. Thank you. Yep. No problem. No problem. Um. I think that's pretty much carrier interest group related. Um, the purple feed, uh, the update, there's no real update since our last meeting. Um, I know that uh, Luca is going to be posting, or Luca or somebody at Antenna is going to be posting near the end of um, the end of April, or the end of uh, March, I mean, uh, their code for the um, WebSocket, uh, U-Bus via WebSocket uh, package. Um, I want to reiterate if there are any packages that you feel you know are relevant to your company, I would encourage you to uh, please uh, please post them or consider discussing them here. I think there. I think uh, this could be a really interesting opportunity for uh, Purple and for you and and uh, the community at large. Uh, any questions or comments on this? Okay. Uh, board farm updates. I, I don't have any from my end. Uh, I think I said, uh, Zhao, are, are you in this? Are you in? Do you have any update on your work with board farm? Jow, are you speaking? I can't hear you. Can anyone hear Jow? Um, no. No. No, not really. Okay. So, uh, Jow, I would encourage you to try to uh, to fix your mic. Uh, I. You're not the first one to have problems with this. Um, so uh, I guess uh, if you get it fixed, we'll, we can, yep, no problem. It, it happens to all of us. We're not, everyone has it happen here, I think. Um, if you, uh, we can go back to that 
um, when if you can get it fixed. So uh, no worries. Um, funding open WRT projects. I I will. Uh, sounds good, Joe. Uh, funding open WRT projects. I don't have any update on that. Um, uh, Art and I have not have not had a chance to sit down and decide on to formalize the budget. Um, but I, I think that we have a, a few that are, uh, I think the uh, IoT sensors via SCAL is, is, a, is a great project. Uh, other additions to SCAL um, for, from Felix's side would, might be very good. Um, one other project that may not be really per se we would fund but may be of interest is one thing we talked about very early on in the TR069 discussion was the topic of trying to make it so that uh, there would be less proprietary uh, code effectively in these stacks. We would we would allow uh, time and an ability for the vendors to migrate. One way that I was thinking we could do this is we could create a um, using the JSON plugin that already is in SCAL uh, a way to way to get some of the simple um, TR181 uh, parameters and make those available on UBUS so that instead so that the vendors wouldn't need that in their own TR069 stacks. Um, I'm thinking of things like you know checking the uh, the available memory or something. That is something that's in TR181 that's very simple to get uh, however, it, it may not make any sense for, for there's no sense to have any proprietary version and it may be a lightweight thing to move over to something that is more standard. Do folks think that there's any value in that style of project where we basically create a plugin that just grabs or makes available the, some very common, very simple parameters uh, via TR181? Yeah, well, here that makes sense to me. Okay. We actually have a plugin, plugin that does just that, um, and another one that reports the uh, CPU load. So, um, well, of course, it won't easily port across to uh, to OpenWRT, but some of the base code to, to grab that information from Linux, we might be able to make available. Okay. Yeah, that'd be good. Um, I. I I think that might be it might be a way of to kind of move this forward because because we have to with scale the goal was very much to allow people a migration path so if we start to move some things that are not super complex but not um, you know not, maybe not maybe not the easiest but somewhere kind of in that some easy some a little bit more difficult but not none of the super high end stuff where people are going to be like well I'm not pulling that out of my stack um, for something new. Uh, I think that might be might be a good way to kind of move this migration path forward. Um, okay, so I I'm going to probably uh, write up a like a document just summarizing kind of what that is, and then we can see we can see if if people are interested in that. That may be something where we simply just all you know pitch in. I don't think it's going to be a ton of work. Maybe I'm wrong on that, um, or it could be something we fund. I I don't know. All right. Um, next thing uh, is uh, OpenWRT Summit. Uh, the we agreed yesterday that we are going to do the summit in Prague this year. Um, the folks at CZNIC did a um, fantastic job of researching, uh, kind of pricing, and uh, places we could do the event. They were, uh, they did a, a spectacular job. It's very reasonably, reasonably priced. Uh, the folks at CZNIC are very excited about the idea. So uh, at the meeting, we all agreed that we will go with Prague. Um, so put that on your, I guess your, not really on your calendars because you don't have the date yet, uh, but uh, put that in the back of your, back of your mind and get excited about visiting Prague this year. Um, we also 
Uh, for the next meeting, we've asked the folks at CZ Nick who are on the ground there to propose, uh, get a sense of availability of dates. Um, we're thinking uh, the Saturday and Sunday before ELCE ends uh, or starts because it's a Monday to Wednesday or the Thursday and Friday after ELCE. So uh, we kind of had that, that sense that those are probably be the best two days. Um, we're not 100% sure that we're going to do ELCE. We don't have to be near it, but it seems to just make sense since we have some interest. Um, so we're going to get some availability, but one thing I wanted to ask is, do, you do the people on this call have a preference for uh, the Saturday or Sunday before versus the Thursday or Friday after? Hello? Did someone say something? Sorry, Eric, can you please repeat? So before what? Oh, for so the idea was that we would have the OpenWRT Summit. We're thinking of not necessarily co-locating with ELCE, but being mm -hmm. coordinated the similar time. So there'd be, okay. the idea is whether we do, we're going to do two days because we want to have one day be kind of talks, the other day being just technical stuff. Um, and to do, uh, either the Saturday or Sunday, which is the two days before ELCE, or the or a Thursday and Friday, which are the two days after ELCE. And I, I don't remember the exact dates, but ELCE is the Monday through Wednesday of the last week of October. So do you so do okay. folks have a general sense of I absolutely do not want to have an have a uh, a meeting, you know, or an event on Saturday, Sunday, or I love that, or what what do people think? My my take on that would be that um, I would rather take the next Thursday, sorry, uh, the Thursday and Friday following uh, ESC, mm -hmm. simply because uh, by that time everyone everyone who wants to be at ESC is likely to stay in uh, in the city for a, for a few days more, and probably getting uh, to Prague or or to any city on on the weekend is probably a bit harder because of family stuff and uh, and and so on. So I would rather, so my take would be rather the Thursday and Friday following ESE. Yeah, well I can tell you that from my side I fully agree with this statement. Also prefer for the same reasons Thursday mm -hmm. and Friday. Okay. Uh, uh, Zoltan, maybe you can um, give me some feedback on this. Is one, one thought we had is do you feel that, that we would have better luck getting core team members to come if it was uh, a weekend versus a weekday? Good question. Probably it, it, uh, it doesn't really matter. You think because, so? Because, because, if, because if someone goes to ESC, then, then staying in Europe for uh, basically, basically, most, basically most of the OpenWRT and lead devs are in Europe. Mm -hmm. So staying mm -hmm. in, a, Euro, staying in a, a European city for two days more uh, is not really an issue. Um, so um, probably does, probably doesn't matter. So it, it it's rather the question that how much coverage do you want from from the people who are at the ESC, so who, who would stay in in the same city for a few days more. Okay, that makes sense. Okay, any other thoughts from anyone on this? Yeah, I agree with Salton. Okay. So, yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay. Great. I, no. I just uh, I, I just wanted to call out you, Hauke. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. That's that's very good. Uh, we will we will certainly when we're meeting again in two weeks, um, the Wednesday. So we will uh, talk about that then. And uh, once we get some some availability, uh, get a sense of what's available and what's not. Um. Oh, other. One other thing that uh, is on the that I uh, didn't put on the agenda, but I just thought of, is uh, we had finally heard back from the FCC and the discussion on uh, whether they want to continue uh, the software um, configurable radios discussion that uh, the the uh, the subcommittee that I was a part of uh, they decided. Uh, 
yesterday that they would like to disband the committee. Uh, so as of now that there is no committee discussing this. Um, this is partly due to the fact that the new administration is not particularly interested um, in cybersecurity being involved at the FCC. Uh, this is this is notable because the software configurable or uh, configurable radios uh, subgroup was actually under another subgroup of the Technical Advisory Council, which was focusing on cybersecurity rules. So because our group above us got disbanded, we got disbanded, kind of thing. Uh, I don't know if there's there's going to be a situation for the multi-stakeholder process to actually happen. Um, I'm still trying to get some feedback on that, but uh, as of now, that discussion, uh, that group is is kind of disbanded and, as far as I know, uh, done. So, uh, kind of wish that it had continued because I I, I think that it, the longer the discussion goes, the more it it made we could helped people understand some of the concerns of the of the open source community um, and uh, the the requirement for flexibility and research um, but uh, I just wanted to uh, let folks know that uh, that result Eric I'm I'm tempted to make snarky comments about the downfall of the US government but I'll hold myself back thank you thank you <laughs> I could recorded. I could I could do that as well I'm sure but uh, yes uh, we'll we'll see I think the FCC is certainly going to continue being being involved in this because this is a topic that they're still interested in so I don't know wh what that mechanism is going to be it just may be a different area. Kathy, you 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 might get some uh, similar comments from the other side of the pond. <laughs> yeah. Oh oh, trust me, the rest of the world is just laughing at us right now. <laughs> So yeah, um. well, that, that literally just happened. Somebody from the rest of the world was just laughing. At yes, yes, that did happen. So that's that's the update there. Um, I I don't think it, the one I, also another update about that is is while they want to move their cybersecurity uh, stuff into the Department of Homeland Security and NIST as well as some in the Federal Trade Commission, it sounds like. Uh, that doesn't really make any sense in this use in this case uh, because this is very focused on radio. So I don't really understand whether this w this work would move anywhere else. I just suspect that it is going to have to stay in the FCC, and whether it is a uh, whether there's a committee involved in it or not, I don't know. But uh, that's that's pretty much the information I have on that. Um, that's what I have on my agenda. Uh, Zhao, were you able to? to make it back? Zhao, we still can't hear you. <laughs> you, I don't, we still can't hear you, Zhao. Are you sure your, your uh, mic isn't muted? Um, Next time. Yeah. Uh, Eric, I have one question regarding the um, Google Summer of Code project. Is it already yes. approved that there's a student uh, specifically doing this and we are just searching for a, um, for a mentor or, or is this just some open project and we are still also searching for a student? Uh, searching for a student right now. Uh, okay, it, okay. This is on the list of of projects that OpenWISP is particularly interested in. And for those who don't know, OpenWISP Wisp is actually a distribution of OpenWRT lead. Um, I think they add some uh, UI features and things like that. Uh, it's particularly for um, uh, like wireless internet service providers, um, which I think is where the name actually comes from, uh, mostly community-based. Uh, it, it's used a bit in, in Italy um, and some other areas. Uh, and uh, Federico is also on, involved on the OpenWRT Summit Committee, so very active, and, and he, he brought it up to me, um, asked if I wanted to be a mentor, and I looked at the list, and I'm like, well, this is a perfect use of Scal, I think. So uh, I, I uh, offered to help and first offered to this group, and then since nobody volunteered, I'm, I'm happy to do it instead. Um, 
so yeah, I, we would have to get a student. Um, I think that's it's a pretty uh, it's a pretty good one. So I hopefully we will find one, but we'll see. Uh, any other comments or questions related to Purple WRT, Open WRT, Lead, anything? All right. Well, this is a was a very short meeting. Um, I, uh, I appreciate everybody joining us, and uh, I'll see you again next week. Thanks, everyone. Okay. Bye-bye. Bye. Talk to you next week. Bye. Thank you.